some concepts of trigonometry. The first concept which we are going to learn is the identity. The identity is sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. And here we can use the identity of a square minus b square and we know that a square minus b square is equal to when this is factorized it comes as a minus b multiplied with a plus b. So similarly sec square theta minus tan square theta can be written as sec theta minus tan theta multiplied by sec theta plus tan theta equal to 1. The important thing which we want to show here is that if it is given that sec theta plus tan theta is equal to x then this implies you can take sec theta minus tan theta as 1 by x. So if sec theta plus tan theta is equal to x then sec theta minus tan theta will be the reciprocal of 1 by x. Based on this concept let's solve this problem. In question number 1, we are given that if sec theta minus tan theta is equal to root 2 minus 1, we to find the value of sine theta. Let's solve this. As we have already discussed, if sec theta plus tan theta is x, then sec theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 by x. So here, we are given that sec theta minus tan theta is equal to root 2 minus 1. So, this will imply here that sec theta plus tan theta will be equal to the reciprocal of root 2 minus 1. So, that will be 1 upon root 2 minus 1. So, this is, let's say this is our statement first and let's call this as statement second. So, this is sec theta minus tan theta is equal to root 2 minus 1. We are calling this as statement second. Now if we add statements 1 and 2, then plus tan theta and minus tan theta gets cancelled and this implies we will have twice sec theta is equal to 1 upon root 2 minus 1 plus root 2 minus 1. This implies twice sec theta will be equal to, here we can take the LCM as root 2 minus 1. So here we'll have 1 in the numerator plus root 2 minus 1 whole square. So this implies twice sec theta will be equal to 1 plus and here we will apply the formula of a minus b whole square. So that will give us 2 plus 1 minus 2 root 2 divided by root 2 minus 1. This implies that twice sec theta is equal to here in the numerator we will have 4 minus 2 root 2 divided by root 2 minus 1. If from 4 minus 2 root 2, if we take 2 root 2 common inside the bracket, we'll be left with root 2 minus 1 upon root 2 minus 1. So root 2 minus 1 gets cancelled with root 2 minus 1. This implies here we will have twice sec theta is equal to 2 root 2. 2 cancels with 2 and this implies sec theta is equal to root 2. 
This will further imply we know that sec theta is nothing but cos theta. So, cos theta is equal to root 2. That means taking reciprocal on both sides, we will have cos theta is equal to 1 by root 2. So, when cos theta is equal to 1 by root 2, this implies that theta is equal to 45 degrees. And when theta is 45 degrees, then we know that sine 45 or sine theta in this case will be equal to 1 by root 2 only. So, for this question, 1 by root 2 is the answer. Next, let's take question number 2. In question number 2, we have if sec square theta plus tan square theta is equal to 7 by 12, then we have to find the value of sec 4 theta minus tan 4 theta. Let's solve this question. Let's take the expression for which we have to find the value. So, here we have to find the value of sec theta raised to power 4 minus tan theta raised to power 4. This can be written as sec theta square whole square minus tan square theta whole square. So, this will be sec theta square plus tan theta square multiplied with sec theta square minus tan theta square. So, this will be equal to it is given in the question that sec square theta plus tan square theta is 7 by 12. This value is given here. Multiplied with and we know that sec square theta minus tan square theta is 1. So, the answer here will be 7 by 12. And the second concept which we will learn today is tan 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cot theta. So, what this concept means is that if we have, let's say, tan of 40 degrees, then this will be equal to cot of 90 degrees minus 40 degrees. That will be equal to cot of 50 degrees. Based on this, let's take an example. So, this is the question which we will solve. Tan 4 degrees multiplied with tan 43 degrees multiplied with tan 47 degrees multiplied with tan 86 degrees. We'll make use of concept 2 in solving this question. So, we will have this becomes equal to tan of now here for 4 degrees we can write 90 degrees minus 86 degrees. And for 43 degrees here, we can write tan of 90 degrees minus 47 degrees multiplied with tan 47 degrees multiplied with tan 86 degrees. So, this becomes equal to now the property which we have learned here is that tan of 90 minus theta is cot theta. So, here tan of 90 minus 86 degrees will be cot 86 degrees and tan of 90 minus 47 will be cot of 47 degrees multiplied with tan 47 degrees multiplied with tan of 86 degrees. Now, this will be equal to we know that tan and cot are reciprocals of each other. So, cot 86 degrees can be written as 1 by tan 86 degrees multiplied with cot 47 can be written as 1 by tan 47 degrees multiplied with tan 47 degrees multiplied with tan 86 degrees. Now, we can see that all these will get cancelled and finally, we will be left with 1. So, 1 is the answer for this question. 
Based on the same concept, we'll solve one more question. Here we have to find the product of tan 1 degree, tan 2 degree, tan 3 degree up to tan 88 degrees multiplied with tan 89 degrees. Let's solve this. So, making use of the same property, tan 1 degrees can be written as tan of 90 degrees minus 89 degrees. Tan 2 degrees can be written as tan of 90 degrees minus 88 degrees. And similarly, we can write tan 3 degrees as tan of 90 degrees minus 87 degrees. And this will go on. And here we are leaving tan 88 degrees as it is. And this gets multiplied with tan 89 degrees. This is what we have to prove. This is our LHS here. So this will be, as we have already discussed that tan of 90 minus theta is cot theta. So this becomes cot 89 degrees multiplied with, this will become cot of 88 degrees. This gets multiplied. This becomes cot of 87 degrees. And this moves on like this. And finally, here we have tan of 88 degrees multiplied with tan of 89 degrees. And we know that cot and tan are reciprocals of each other. So cot 89 gets cancelled with tan 89 and cot 88 will get cancelled with tan 88. In this way, all the terms will get cancelled and finally we'll be left with 1. And this is what we have to prove in the question.